All right, we have Shogi's Roy versus T-Bird's Pokemon Charizard. I thought of the destination, freaking one. Yeah, yeah, we indeed. Final destination. I never see the stage as a starter. What, what is this? Is this a change in our scene? All right, I'm gonna stop over here. <laughs> All right, let's get right up there. All right, close game for the first 20 seconds so far. T-Bird able to get out of a few hits. He's trying to look for his, he's trying to look for, look for his hits patiently and carefully. Catching uh, Shogi's landings with the jabs. So far, falling upper armor right there. But uh, Shogi able to position himself just right to not take too many hits from the uh, Rock Smash, which otherwise I believe the hits from Rock Smash are randomized, where the hitboxes can pop out. So Shogi in that position, I guess, was just really lucky there. To be fair, armor. And with that armor, he's gonna get himself up to more rage. Something that I didn't talk about with uh, Ryu and Doubles, actually, like any character that uses super armor, yeah, you take damage, but if you're a character like Charizard or Ryu that benefits off of rage, no! Oh, that was so much pressure! Wait, when you benefit so much off of rage, you get... When you benefit off of all that rage, you end up, you can get rewarded for uh, earlier kills as a result, and you stay alive longer, and you become a bigger threat if you can capitalize on it. So, that is something to think about when it comes to those moves, and, um, uh, Super Armor and Slash War is very interesting. I like, um, I like, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. The ultimate stage edit. Alright, game two, t switching to Battlefield. It was a very overwhelming first game for him otherwise, so it might benefit him to turn up the pace a little bit, but otherwise I feel like at first, when he was playing it slow, it was honestly working decently well for him. So, it was just that, that one confirm that he wasn't really able to do much of, uh, that showed, gave Shogi a lot of momentum. So, we'll see how it favors from there. A down throw confirm right there into the forward air. Great spacing on that back air, that's gonna reward him with a good amount of damage. I like, I, I like seeing, I'd like to see T-Bird use a uh, back more, back air more honestly, like, not like obviously fishing for it, but like, it's a good mix-up move, it ra has more range than forward air sometimes, it can be good, you know? And I believe the sweet spot's safe on shield? Yeah, it can be something to get people off you, especially at the ledge, it's a uh, threat to be reckoned with for sure. Alright, well, T-Bird's kept this first stop very close in the moment. Either one could get this first blow off with Charizard sitting at 112 Rage. A Blazer to break through, the, break through. Nope, not quite. Dash attack, and that's going to be the stock right there. Very simple, simple, logical decision make right there. Do the job, and a fourth smash on the miss, basically for Shogi, and we got even. Here. Okay, it's all confirmed, 27%. Keeps the chase down going. Oh, that forward smash, up, uh, up smash, double into the taunt, Shogi feeling himself. Let's go. t with the safe control otherwise. Let's try to see if he can get that to work for him. Okay. Oh, sour up air almost sets him up to a failure right there. Up smash catches his landing there. Shogi's been good at capitalizing on those flare blitz that hit shield. Another one, he's getting very risky now. I think he was going for the ledge that time, so... Alright, dash check, 12%. Every hit matters for T-Bird at this point if he can keep the stock alive. But he cannot. Shogi catches him with the aggressive dash attack. Catches the shield drop and Shogi closes it out. Two on to what is round two.